Studio 10, well, Craig Bennett will be here very shortly with the showbiz file. He'll have news on Victoria Beckham's bizarre request for her new London boutique mm. and all the pics and gossip from George Clooney's Venetian wedding. But first, an estimated two billion people around the world watched Kate Middleton marry her prince. Kate didn't have a hair out of place and that is because of our next guest. Richard Ward <coughs> is the UK's hairdresser to royalty and the stars and he's here in Australia and here with us on the panel. Hello and welcome. Hey. Welcome. Great to be here. Now, Richard, we all know that brides go a little bit bridezilla on their wedding day. <laughs> I What's imagine that when it's a royal wedding, <laughs> that it's a royal... What was, what was Kate like when you're doing her hair <clears> just before the wedding? Well, it was, it was the most amazing, special day of my career, probably almost of my life. My wife was watching to say, what about the children? But other than that... <laughs> um, oh, your own wedding? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of, course, of course, my own wedding. Um, no, it, it was just the most incredible day. Um, but she was even... She was she was more calm than I was. She was unbelievable, and every picture that you see of her, she's always the same, mm. and uh, she's just one of these incredible people. I know that sounds like probably not what you want to hear, but it's no, it's true. Not it's, uh, it's she's exquisite. just she absolutely is. I mean, when and I look at these pictures. In fact, all the time I've been over here, sort of launching my my product range, and they're showing pictures of of, of this on, on on the shopping channel where I where I've been. And it gives me goosebumps every time I watch it because literally, you know, I was only with her like 20 minutes before that. So was it a big? Was it a big decision? Um, hair up or down? Because she's got quite an exquisite well, mane. Her yeah. hair is her accessory, isn't it? It is, and there's so many things that you have to to, ah. to take into consideration for anyone on their wedding day. Uh, but the big thing was is that she was going to be in a carriage uh, going from the abbey. That was my biggest worry because what if it? I mean, and, and everybody knows here. I'm sure that it, it's just peeing with rain the whole mm. time. Yeah, in the wind. Mm. Um, and, and obviously she w w uh, was wearing a tiara, so, so it, it really had to be half up and half down. And there were times... I mean, I've been in this industry 35 years and made enough mistakes with hair up and hair... hair you know, before I got to her. Um, so I was pretty experienced by the time... You know. <laughs> so, for example, for somebody like that, if they're going to be outside, you don't want to have hair around the face because I knew that... You know, 20 minutes later, it's going to be looking like That's that. happened to me. Um, it fell so. out. <laughs> now, what, what is she really like? Because you have been doing her hair for a long time. You were doing her hair before she was a princess. Yes. Yeah. So what is she like? I mean, we fell in love with her when she came to Australia recently with William and their little one. And is she different? Every, as I was saying, every when you you have an opinion of her, obviously, um, and, and I'm one of the few people that are fortunate enough to know her. But, mm. but in fact, you, everything that you see about that is her. It really, really is. She is no different. I mean, if if you took a million women and there would she would be the one that ticks the box to be a princess like that. And, 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 and that's why you've never ever seen a picture of her in the early days when she was going out with William. You never see a dodgy picture. You never see her having had too much mm. to drink. Nothing. She is exactly as she is. Does she but... swear or do anything? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk don't about tell, some of your tell. other... Because you've got this whole celebrity list. Yeah. The first one. Who was the first one you ever got? How do you get into this mm. gr international um, groove? Who's, I tell you who. The first one, uh, first celebrity I ever did was... Somebody you probably don't know here called Tara Palmer Thompson. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is she the yeah. one who she... had to reconstruct her nose from yes, her yeah. cocaine habit? Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah absolutely. Not because of her hair. That's right. We, we should be speaking to a plastic surgeon. It was funny. It was a really big freeze. It was my haircuts that drove her to it. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, she's no. I tell you, she was, she was, she was, she was. Um, well, uh, a time. What happened mm. was is that I started my own business when I was 26, and um, in, London? in London, absolutely. And um, I was very lucky enough to. Uh, my wife is uh, always been on the business side. Um, so I'm sort of the swan and she's sort of the legs that sort of going sort of crazily underneath. And so I was lucky to meet her and we built this business together. But it was, it was ten years before I even, I even did a celebrity. We were, mm. nobody knew who we were. And then, and then things started to change and uh, I, I got this fantastic PR and I was, I was, I was really lucky that um, sometimes you meet the right people in your career and you just hit at the right time. And she was very much on the ascendancy and she invented the word it girl. And Tara used to be her nanny. 
actually. Oh. And she start Tara was sort of started to become a sort of a, per, a face about town. And this woman said to me, she said, look, Richard, I can open some doors for you, but it's up to you to keep them open. Mm. And that's how it started rolling. And then I think what happens is that people start to feel comfortable with you. Um, our salon, uh, you probably all expect it to be a certain way. It's not, it's really quite relaxed. Um, Free and food and alcohol. <laughs> 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 you, you, you said that... <laughs> Yeah, Liz Hurley actually came through. Um, do you know Trini and Susanna over mm. here? Yes. Oh, yeah. um, well, I used to know, I used to cut Trini and Susanna's hair, and, 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 and again, I, I was lucky enough to know them before they were. They used to have a column on, in, in one of our newspapers mm. at home called uh, Dress to Wear, or, and then the programme started, and then I started doing the hair on the programme, and this is how it starts. And then Trini was friends with Liz Hurley, and Trini was, recommended her to me, and so that's how it all mm. uh, Kim Cattrall's another one, Monica Lewinsky, Lily oh. Allen. You had some big names. Through your door, but you, you, you. Sorry. No, go on. No, it's just funny that we, when people are <laughs> reading through, it's so funny because everybody obviously asked me about Kate. And then, um, and the one thing I did in a radio interview, and there are two people here on the radio, and so you said about Kate, you said, well, I'm going through your celebrity clients, it's got, they're incredible. So tell me about Bear Grylls. Yeah, Bear Grylls is <laughs> What does he have done before out. he goes into the jungle? <laughs> um, you, I love this though. You once said that you wished you had invented the Rachel cut, which is obviously <gasps> this from Friends. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, if I'd have invented that, I doubt if I'd still have to work anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You don't it's, get, it's, don't get it's royalties. It's boring. It's so boring really? that haircut. This was, oh. do you know what we Shopping made? We, I, I can, had it. I can oh. remember. It's day, so it's a windy day. I, She's done for. <laughs> <laughs> I, can rem I can remember when, in fact, I, mm. we just had, I think I was about 30 at the time, and I'd probably been in business five years. I was doing six or seven of those a day when that mm. came out. The other one, of course, was Meg Ryan, which is really, really huge. Yeah. Mm. I mean, they're, they're just, they're, they're, they're short. Short haircuts, they're a proper, proper look, but they're still girly and feminine at the same time. Are you going to That's convince Kate it. to cut her hair? <laughs> well, 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 we'll see. Oh, oh I'd like to know. But I, do, you, do you go to her or does she come to the salon? <laughs> I couldn't Ooh, possibly question. say. It's I it's really couldn't. No, 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 I just wondered whether she was like the rest of us who, oh, not me, I hardly ever go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, they, they just pop in, make an appointment and, and pop in and have a coffee and get their hair done. No, she has but, to wait six weeks for me, like, just like <laughs> everyone else. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, Richard, you are in the country to promote your range of products yes. called uh, Richard Ward Hair Care. Yeah. Uh, viewers can buy it through TVSN. What is the one product which you cannot do without? OK, so because I'm known for this glossy, beautiful, frizz-free, gorgeous, glamorous hair, and, and I'm not just talking about Kate's, that's what we do. We put a lot of finish on, on our work in, in, in the salon. So for me, it's my Triactive Serum with Argan Oil. Oh, Ooh. beautiful. And, uh, yeah, Triactive mm. Serum with Argan Oil. <laughs> <laughs> nice and simple. <laughs> And what that does is, is yeah, fab, it, it is it? fab, but one of but, but my biggest bugbear with argan oil is that sometimes it's too thick, people get in a mess with it. It's mm. okay for a hairdresser, it, um, but you know, the consumer gets in a mess mm. with it, it can build up on your hair, mm. and you can't get it out. Mm. So, what I've come up with this triactive serum with argan oil, so it's taking the best of the old fashioned serum and the right levels of argan oil. And if you use that properly on wet hair, you're going to get frizz-free, glossy, gorgeous, glamorous Really? Hair. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> what and yes. guess what, audience? Just because we love you and we think you're fabulous, you're all going home with oh a Richard God. Ward. Oh. Oh. you all morning. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, Richard. Right, and best of luck with thank the you. hair products.